What is up, guys? It's your boy Revs, and today got a first tutorial on the new channel. Uh, really hoping this one is something that you know you guys will all enjoy. But this was requested by a guy named Toy Doe. Uh, his videos, you know, he's got some really good edits on there. Um, he's all around like a pretty good editor, you know. Not someone who I would expect, you know be hitting me up for a tutorial but nonetheless he did and uh, he's gonna get one and this is it so uh, go ahead and check him out he's gonna be in the description you know go ahead and tell him thank you so thank you so much and uh, right, let's get on with it and he is gonna be in the tutorial like I said so yeah all right so here's my song um, oh yeah and this is a uh, Velocity style editing in After Effects. That's what this tutorial is going to be about. Um, so I got my song. It's a Prozac Hate official video. I don't know why it says that, but whatever. It's what I got. Prozac Hate. That's the song. And uh, guess it might help if I brought in a cinematic and then a clip. Oh, goodness. Hey, my goodness. Drag this over here. All right. All right, I'm just going to work with this part. Alright. So these are just some prereqs that I got. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to, you know, you know, make it nice and smooth instead of, you know, just a guy running. We're going to smooth it out a little bit. Um, that's why I jump. I need that in here. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our clip, control T, bring up our timer mapping, highlight these keyframes to ease them or uh, keyframe assistant ease and uh, you know, just sync it up like you would regularly. It looks about right. <clears throat> and then, you know, this is the part where you just kind of mess around with them all. You just kind of mess around, you know, have some fun with it. Uh, listen to your song a couple times. You know, just learn the song. Uh... There's a lot of different stuff that you can do with this, you know. Uh, just mess around, maybe use that one way that we just learned, or just bring the keyframe up and then be, keep bring the keyframe down. Uh, it's really smooth. I really do like it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see how this looks. I have no audio. I don't know. It's not that bad. This needs to be a little bit slower. See, so yeah, it's not. It's really kind of like basically the only thing to do is mess around with it like as much as you can. Uh, I can't really just show you guys, you know, how to get like that super awesome you know, flow with this. This is one of those things where you gotta mess with it all on your own. And, uh, you know, just work with your song and all that. There's really no way to uh, for me to actually teach you guys flow. Flow is one of those things that you work on your... You, know, you just gotta work on that by yourself. I mean, if I could teach you guys that, I would, but that's kind of a trial and error thing within editing. Um, but hopefully this, you know, gets you started within your After Effects editing and uh, how to do that style. But uh, I, w I was going to do a little bit of Twixter as well on this, but I'm not because that's kind of a bitch to do. Um... One thing you want to always listen for is 
uh, you know, your beats. You just gotta mess around with that. Um, and then you can, you know, make an adjustment layer, put some transform on it, and, uh, Whenever I go from one clip to the next, I usually start on the next clip. Next clip, keyframe the scale at like 180, 175, you know, or maybe even higher if you want. But uh, from that keyframe, I go back maybe about four, bring it back down to like 100, 102, something like that, and then go up from that. Uh, first keyframe right. sorry I just kinda lost myself on the keyframes right there alright so whenever I go from one clip to the next on uh, with transform I usually uh, go through and uh, I'll look like I'll look at like where the clip starts and you see how it's he's turning and stuff he's turning around getting ready for the shot and I think it's gonna actually make it flow a little bit better um, if I had it actually come out from the scaling about while he's in the middle of the air and it starts going slow yeah it actually looks it's starting to look pretty good um, and then it, he gets the shot, so I'm going to keyframe about 135 on the scale. Go back about three or four frames. Bring it down to like 102, something like that. And then, you know, go to your ending or whatever. Like, start that other keyframe at like 180. And go back about like four. Um, this isn't really supposed to be about the whole pan and cropping, but I'm just actually going to show you guys, you know, what this is going to look like. Um, you know, if you mess around with it enough. But uh, I can't, like, this is about as good as it gets with After Effects. I mean, unless you want to use, you know, Twixter and stuff. Uh, Twixter is freaking amazing. So I would actually recommend, you know, maybe using a little bit of Twixter in here. Uh, it might sound really weird, but it can, you know, it'll help you out a little bit. It'll get you, like, that little bit of a uh, style. And if your clip isn't slow enough at a certain point, then you can always use Twixter, you know, to help you out a little bit. Here it is. See, not that bad at all. Not too bad for After Effects. Um, one thing is though is that <clears throat> After Effects really isn't the best thing to be using for, you know, this kind of editing. Um, Pan and Crop should basically be used in Sony Vegas because Sony Vegas handles high FPS clips uh, the best, and that's what you want to be using for pan crop style um, I mean this this does look pretty good and you can make you know everything flow really good but if you guys haven't noticed that you know you can't really use 300 FPS on uh, in After Effects you can, I think the highest you can go to is like 99 and all that and uh, most of the time it's not a big deal um, but for you know, if you want to use it to its full potential, you just want to use Sony Vegas. But uh, he can't get it, so this is uh, about the best as you can do with it. And I hope, hopefully, this helped you guys out. Uh, if this was kind of you know a garbled tutorial, because I haven't done one in a little while, it feels like. But um, hopefully, this will help you guys out. We could actually keyframe some rotation. Yeah, that's the best I can do with this. Uh, 
you know, there's nothing really else to do except, you know, load on some effects, you know, mess around with the keyframes and maybe add a couple more, mess with the everything else, maybe some Twixter. Um, anyways, guys, hopefully this helped you out. Um, and I hope you, that you enjoy the preview at the end of this. But, um, yeah, any questions, post down below, PM me, I don't care. I welcome every single question or, you know, <clears throat> compliment or, you know, hate, I don't care. Uh, just, you know, they're all going to help me make better tutorials and everything in the future. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace. It's an everyone I know.